Chapter 10, Learning Objective 4. Record and Disclose Share Dividends. A share dividend is a dividend given to shareholders in the form of shares rather than cash. By issuing a share dividend instead of a cash dividend the declaring corporation can retain cash in the business and reduce the need to finance its activities through borrowing. Like a cash dividend, a share dividend reduces retained earnings, however, it does not cause assets to change. It simply transfers an amount from retained earnings to contributed capital. Total assets, total liabilities, and total equity remain unchanged when there is a share dividend. Like a cash dividend, there are three dates to be aware of with share dividends. The date of declaration, the date of record, and the date of distribution. Notice that there is no date of payment as there was for a cash dividend. This is because there is no cash payment involved for a share dividend. Instead, shares are distributed, or given, to the shareholders. Let's now review how to account for share dividends using an example. Assume that the Sherbrooke Corporation declares a 10% share dividend to common shareholders. The share dividend is declared on December 15, 2023, payable to shareholders of record on December 20, 2023. The share dividend is distributed on January 10, 2024. At the time of the dividend declaration, the shares were trading on the stock exchange at $4 per share and the equity of the corporation consisted of the following. Common shares, 20,000 shares authorized, 5,000 shares issued and outstanding, with paid-in capital of $25,000, and retained earnings of $100,000, for total equity of $125,000. The 10% share dividend works out to 500 shares, calculated as 5,000 outstanding shares times the 10% share dividend. The market price on the date of declaration is used to record a share dividend in the accounts. On the declaration date, the journal entry to record the share dividend includes a debit to an account called Share Dividends Declared, and a credit to Common Share Dividends Distributable, both for $2,000, calculated as 5,000 shares times 10% equals 500 shares, which is then multiplied by the $4 market price per share. An alternative approach is to directly debit retained earnings instead of Common Share Dividends Declared. If retained earnings is debited instead of share dividends, a closing entry is not required for dividends during the closing process. The common share dividends distributable is an equity account specifically, a share capital account. On the share dividend distribution date, the following entry is recorded with a debit to the common share dividends distributable account and a corresponding credit to common shares for $2,000. The effect of these entries is to transfer $2,000 from retained earnings to share capital. No assets are paid by the corporation when the additional shares are issued as a share dividend, and therefore the total equity remains unchanged. Let's now consider the following question. Is there any change in the investor's percentage of corporate ownership because of a share dividend? Since a share dividend is issued to all shareholders of a particular class, each shareholder end up with larger number of shares. However, ownership percentage of the company remains the same for each shareholder. Each shareholder has received a 10% share dividend, but their ownership percentage of the company remains constant. Since total equity does not change when there is a share dividend, the proportion owned by each shareholder does not change. For example, if, before the share dividend, Sherbrooke Corporation had four shareholders, each owning 1,000, 500, 2,000, and 1,500 shares, respectively, their proportionate ownership percentages are 20%, 10%, 40%, and 30%. After the 10% share dividend is distributed, each shareholder has 10% more shares. Shareholder 1 now has 1,100 shares. Shareholder 2 has 550 shares, and shareholders 3 and 4 each have 2,200 and 1,650 shares, respectively. The total number of outstanding shares is now 5,500 shares instead of 5,000 before the share dividend, but the proportionate ownership percentage remains the same after the share dividend distribution, 20%.